VS Code gives ObjectScript developers control over their InterSystems Iris data platform source code. This video covers the basics of ObjectScript classes in VS Code for client-side editing. Creating a class, saving and compiling a class, and importing and exporting a class from an InterSystems server. The workspace configuration shown in this demonstration is a single folder workspace connected to a remote InterSystems Iris server. Using this workspace configuration, we can view server source code, copy code from the server to a local workspace for editing, or create classes locally and save them on the server. Before you start working with ObjectScript classes, you should open an ObjectScript output console. There, you can watch for messages from the ObjectScript extension. Open the output console by clicking View Output, then select ObjectScript from the Output Console drop down menu. To create a new class, you'll need to create the file, fill out the class definition, and then save it. First, click the Explorer icon in the activity bar. This should bring you to your local workspace, where you have an active connection established to an InterSystem server. Within this workspace, you should have import export directories for source code. As default, this is called SRC. If the SRC folder doesn't exist, create and then expand it. If you're creating a class in a new package, add a subfolder called package within the SRC folder and click to expand it. Click new file to add a file within the package folder and name it class.cls. Open class.cls, currently a blank class file, in an editor to fill out the class definition. Start typing the word class in the first line of the editor. The editor should prompt you with code completion options, called snippets. To create a new persistent, serial, or registered class that inherits from additional classes, choose the snippet class definition with multiple superclasses. Click File, Save to save the file locally in your SRC package folder. By default, this also saves and compiles the class on the InterSystems Iris or Cache server. If you want to save the file locally and on the server without automatically compiling it, this setting can be toggled within the InterSystems ObjectScript extension settings. To open the Settings Graphical User Interface, or GUI, click File, Preferences, Settings. Enter the word Compile in the search field and locate the setting ObjectScript Compile on Save. Select or clear this box depending on which behavior you prefer for your workspace. Verify that your class is compiled on the server by navigating to the Object Script Explorer. Expand the class's dropdown, then locate your new package and class among the source code. To configure the behavior for compile, return to the Settings GUI and locate the Object Script Compile Flag setting. Add or remove flags to further adjust compile settings. For details on what these flags do, click the documentation link in the settings description. Last, let's look at the process for exporting and importing class files from a server. You might want to export files for transfer or local editing. First, navigate to the Object Script Explorer. Expand the source code tree to locate the packages or files that you want, and right-click and select Export. This should bring the files or packages to the SRC subdirectory in your single folder workspace. Object Script export settings can be modified like the Save and Compile settings. You can enable breadcrumbs, set behavior for different file types including CSP and XML, and change the path that code is exported to. Once files are in your local directory, they can be saved and compiled as previously described. When they are saved, they are imported and compiled back on the server. When you create or introduce new files in your local directory, you'll need to import them to the server by right-clicking and selecting Import and Compile. Now you've seen some basic ways to work with object strip classes in VS Code single folder workspaces. Watch the other videos in this series for more information on workspace configurations and VS Code features.